Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and in our last Digibyte Basics video, we looked at backing up your Digibyte Core Wallet's wallet data file. So, that's fantastic, it's great that we've got a backup, however, the downside is if somebody happens to find your thumb drive, and it has your wallet data file on it, they can fire it up on their own computer, and spend your Digibyte. That's obviously less than ideal. Same goes for if you have a laptop and your laptop gets stolen. Again, that's going to be less than ideal because you want to keep your Digibyte safe and secure. So, we're going to password protect this and we're going to encrypt your wallet file. The way that we do this is by going up the top here to settings and then down to encrypt wallet. It's going to prompt us to enter in a password. They recommend 10 or more random characters. I'm going to enter in a few at the moment. And then I need to re-enter it beneath. Once that's done, click on OK. Now, you must remember your passphrase. If you forget your passphrase, nobody can decrypt it for you and your Digibyte will be gone. So make sure it is something incredibly memorable. What I'll do now is I'll click on Yes. And this is going to take a moment as it encrypts the wallet data file for me. It says here it is now going to close to finish the encryption process. Fantastic. It's then going to fire itself back up. Now, the important part here, now this is really, really important. Any previous backups you have made of your wallet file should be replaced with the new one. The old wallet data file that we backed up in the last video is still not encrypted and can still be used. It's still valid. The new one is encrypted. So what I'll do is I'll click on the OK button here. Digibyte Core Wallet is going to shut down. Great. So, I'm going to fire up the Digibyte Core Wallet again. So, thanks to Movie Magic, what we're going to do is fast forward a little bit so that you simply see the wallet opening up straight away. So, our Core Wallet has now fired up again. What we're going to do once more is we're going to go back into the File menu and we're going to choose Backup Wallet. We're going to give this a new name. And we're going to click on save. Now once more what we need to do is bring up our explorer and we can see the new wallet file here. We'll go into the documents folder and make a copy. On the USB drive what we're going to do is delete the old one. That's now permanently gone and all unencrypted backups have now been removed. What we'll do is we'll click on paste here and we've now got our backup. I'll eject this and we're good to go. So that's all we need for today. The wallet is now backed up, all securely encrypted. The Digibyte Core Wallet will load up each time and not require a password until you go in to send your Digibyte away. We'll cover that in a later video. That's all for now. Your Digibytes are safe, they're encrypted, they're backed up, you're now ready to receive your first Digibytes, which we'll cover in the next video. I hope you've enjoyed this, consider leaving a like, subscribe, hit the share button, and you can always reach out in the comment section below if you do need any help. I'll include links in the description for further places for support. Cheers.